Okay, apologies for that delay. Learn from your mistakes. Uh, Riven man. Uh, uh, is uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> we had to do some last second setup. A little bit hectic, but we got everything under control now. I do not rest. Post the. Yes, sir. Thing in our Discord. Never look back. Eight versus boosted. Presence of scum. I'm spelling that right. All right. Okay. Now let's get into this. So we see. Poppy, Poppy pick up yep, Poppy for the boosted first. bonobos. It's Bonobo. Have you not seen any YouTube videos? You no, I haven't. <laughs> it's like, it's a new meme phrase the kids came out with these days. Are you serious? Yep. Am I not hip anymore? Boosted Bonobos. Bonobos. <laughs> the kale. I mean, oh, I if... it's a monkey. What? Well, I googled Bonobo and it's a monkey. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Well, now I know the origin of the meme. Thank you, Internet. So we have Poppy Kha'Zix Rise versus Kale by Corky so far. Uh, I wonder if the Kale is like a comfort pick. I actually have played the Kale into Poppy matchup quite look, a few Look, look, look. That's all interesting, but I just want to inform you that it's also known as the Pygmy Chimpanzee or the Dwarf Chimpanzee or the Grisile chimpanzee. So should we call them the boosted monkeys instead? Oh, 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 I get it now. <laughs> that That's the joke. <laughs> I am so not hip. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we've not seen either of these two teams before. So oh, uh, these picks, yeah. The... Uh, <laughs> I was well. I was about to say. Um, let me get the names right. Uh, I think the Stormin Mormon. I've been waiting to see this guy. I love his name. I love the cut of his jib. Let's see what he can do. Uh, Stormin Mormon is on the boost. Okay, so left team, blue team is boosted bonobos, and other team is the elite. Hey, okay. So the only person that we really know that we've seen play uh, for both of these teams is Blastona. No, we and, and Draconix. We did? Oh, well. The only one I remember is Blastona, who had a very impressive Lee Sin game with some good stuff from in-house that we saw one time. But that is a different game, and we're about to start our second series for the night. Elite 8 versus Boosted Bonobos. Oh, man. I, I can already see myself butchering this before. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting game. game. Um, Boosted Bonobos consisting of the Stormin, Mormon, Jungle, <laughs> Knob, <laughs> Savage Force, Nemurs, HMTDK, TKD. HMTKD. There we go. Um, he is going to be called TKD because I cannot say that in the middle of a fight. <laughs> And then the Elite Eight consisting of Blastona, Rusty, Draconix, Axis, and the Magic Conch. Which, I've seen the Magic Conch as well. The Magic Conch. Oh, boy. Uh, are you ready for another series, buddy? I am that, ready. After that 50-something minute game that we just had. Now, we didn't really get to talk about the draft too much. I think they already had the draft down. That's why it went so fast. Yeah, uh, I think that is it. So uh, we do have the Kale, Vi, Corky, Varus, and Thresh picked up on the Elite Eight side. We have the... oh boy. I'm really interested in the Scion support. <laughs> Are we going to see some... Uh, who was that? European LCS. Bander did it in LCS. European EU LCS. A lot Scion Smash! Time. Yeah, it, it actually has a like ridiculous solo queue win rate, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, it has a 53% uh, win rate in solo queue right now. 81% pit rate, but you know. It, it, so, but it 
it has potential if played right. We'll have to see if TK. TK oh boy, we're starting off good. Uh, TKD can play it as it's supposed to be. I don't know how Thresh into Scion support. I don't know much about Scion support. Let's be honest. Um, the Kha'Zix and the Vi, both basically both are snowball. So one gets ahead, the other it's going to be nightmare for each of them. Caitlyn outranges the Varus, so she should try to bully that lane a little bit. But I kind of like the Corky here. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of the Corky pick. In I'm, ex general. I'm expecting to see the suicide die of Corky coming in, especially since Blastone has picked up the Kale. Oh, yeah. The We're going to see that package come right on in. The Kamikaze Corky. That kale pick actually enables the Vi to do a lot deep Vi, leap, a lot of deep dives, deep Vi's. But uh, <laughs> does she ults maybe the Poppy under tower? The kale ults that makes her invincible. No, 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 no. We need Draconix to get ulted. We need to see the Kamikaze Corky. You see the package just come flying across half the screen with a. That is what ult. we need right there. <laughs> Make Lee great again. Give us more packages. Like, why are we going to ult the Vi? Who cares about the Vi? Ult the Corky! I want to see the Kamikaze! Oh, goodness. Make Lee great again. Let's go. Make Lee great again, indeed. Make Corky great again. Well, one man. Corky's one mission. One bomb. <laughs> I feel it coming, man. It's got to oh, be it. Boy. It's got to be Is it. And once I see the Kamikaze Corky, I'm going to yell so much. I'm going to flip my stuff. Is this where the first series we were super professional, but now the second one we're kind of tired, so the memes start to come out? Oh, no, no. This this stream has always been a meme. Well, not as big a meme as JLC, but yeah, pretty pretty big meme. Oh, uh, man. Oh, we had to go there. <laughs> we There has to be one JLC insult per stream it's it's an unwritten rule oh boy so this we're gonna be to getting to this game pretty shortly you. do you notice the uh nimmers keystone it took me a second to remember nimmers 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 oh uh yeah that's pretty common i mean 80 carries these days have to make the choice based on the I don't know, with Fervor the way it is, it's just people just like the Warlord's Mastery. It gives that healing and lifesteal, especially with how aggressive mage supports are these days. There isn't a mage support in this game, so I don't know if that would have made a difference. Uh, but I still feel like you're safe enough with the Caitlyn to just go Fervor. That's true. She has that range that she can abuse very easily. Uh, she gets a trap. She has that mile-long range. We'll have to see. Uh, I'm very interested in how this support Scion is going to work work out. So, so the bot lane, I'm going to be looking at pretty pretty especially. We see a Cole start coming out of Draconix. Oh boy, we know how much I love that item. Especially as a first item. Okay, okay. So, I need to know, Brandon. Yes. Boosted bonobos. Am I correct? Yes. Oh, here uh -oh. comes the fight! Here 5v5 in the early game! Back and forth, they're swinging! Wet noodles are going all over the place! Jungle Knob almost drops! But now it looks bad for Savage Force. Will he flash away? No, he's first blood for Blastona! The Storm and Mormon trying to get out of there! HGM! <laughs> HMTKD! I can't say his name! The Storm and Mormon looks like no. he's gonna go down next! No, he gets into the bush! Jungle Knob picks up that kill! Oh man, that was... That was a one for one. <laughs> that was that was one of the funnest fight fights of level one fights I've seen in a very goodness long time. gracious. It all started off with that huge Scion queue that I believe got three people. The that all thing all things considered, I'm surprised it was only one for one. Okay, but I'm gonna call him HM. I cannot say HMTKD in the middle of a fight. I'm just gonna say HM. Yeah. It's easier. Hard mode. He's playing Scion support. Playing hard mode. Uh, and play that Scion like hard mode. Pretty much even. Uh, what? Uh, okay. Sorry, okay. numbers. We saw that flash. You cannot hide we that one. That. And the ward saw that as well. It reminds me of the same vicious flash that he pulled that one time. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, man. This game's starting off very good. What a hey, great needed, game we have already. I needed some excitement after that snooze fest of a 55, 56 minute game we had last. Oh, man. A lot of damage onto uh, the various uh, axes. He doesn't have support with him. No, we didn't see the results of these teams in what they've played last game. But we do know that this is the battle to not be last place, pretty much. So both oh, of these teams have something to really prove. Yeah, well, well if that level one fight shows anything, <laughs> I'm excited. But. Yeah, already an exciting start to this game. <laughs> one for one exchange, level one. That didn't even seem like a one for one. There were so many blinking red uh, bars, so many flashes burnt. I think this is the most summoners I've seen blown this early in the game in a very long time. I'm curious as to how, what difference that actually is going to make though. That actually, the summoners being down opens up, like, it should be fairly easy ganks towards the top lane. Yeah, I feel like Juggle Knob's going to take the biggest advantage of this. Yeah. We'd actually see the Kha'Zix roaming around to the side. Blast is actually very far forward. Ooh. This is not what you want, especially when you don't have uh -oh. the flash. Juggle knobs just around the corner. Blastona trying his best to get away. Fish, yeah, he doesn't have the dead. flash. This is a free kill. And... 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 and, and well. <laughs> Blastona! He's going all the way home with this one! They're trying to give the kill to Juggle. What? Savage flashes over the wall! <laughs> This is the best game so far. This is the funnest game I've seen. We're oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, was that flash really worth it, though? For that one kill? <laughs> it was not. Really, Storm and Mormon should have just taken the kill because they wasted too much time going for that one. <laughs> that was... <laughs> I, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not ready for this game. I was not prepared for that. <laughs> oh boy, what a game so far. What an interesting game. Qual quality. Oh, a lot of damage coming off of Savage. Maybe that... He's diving. If he had the flash, that would have been a kill. <laughs> oh man. But that kill did let him get the early tier, so overall, yeah, I'd say it's it was pretty yeah. worth for the flash. <laughs> I don't know, it's questionable overall. It's questionable, but who knows with this game, man. What a game. What a start to a game. Fi is actually, never mind, she's just going to do Scuttle Crab. <laughs> the first dragon is actually going to be a Cloud Drake. I wonder how that's going to play in. Generally, when it's a Cloud Drake, the priority for dragons becomes less and less. Magic Conch looking to get the hook Ooh. on the Nemers. Nemers is getting caught out, and he doesn't have Flash. Easy kill picked up by Axis. Beautiful hook from Magic Conch. That was very well done by him. I'll be honest, that juked me out quite a bit, but Blastona is now caught out. Are we repeating this again? How many times can I say and before Blastona actually dies? Not enough, because Juggle Knob picks that up quite swiftly. So the Kha'Zix showed top. With the AD carry of the blue team being dead, I kind of expected him to go for the dragon, but I guess maybe it's a little bit too early for that. So Instead, they're just going to take the gold that they got from the kill, they pushed in the lane and gonna go back, see what they can do. The Corky actually has 71 stacks still on his coal. I really don't like that item, especially first. <laughs> and Savage Forest looking to Ooh. brawl that one out, getting a lot of damage onto Dragonix. Had he not missed that one Q, he actually probably would have killed him. The second one definitely would have killed him, but. Oh my. Magic Conch is... I, I'm, I have to go back to it, but that hook was amazing. Yeah, he could have taken dirty. the easy hook onto HM. Yeah. But can you really kill a Zion that, as quickly as they killed the Caitlyn? Yeah. The, the Poor Nemers went down really, really quickly. Yeah. It, it's That's one of the advantages of Thresh because when you go to throw, throw the hook, it doesn't actually turn his body towards the person that you're hooking. Until the animation goes out, so you can actually you can walk straight forward. Like he's if he was walking towards the scion, 
And he throws the hook Here comes the a play. Room. Rusty looking to get Savage Force. Savage Force does not have Flash. Gets picked off by the Flash from Blastona. Almost like having Flash is a good thing. But yeah, yeah can... but Blastona not having Flash. <laughs> but yeah, basically you can fake out people with Thresh by, by running one way and aiming another. In short. <laughs> uh, I'm loving this game so far. This is proving to be a very good first game. <laughs> and now Blastona... Getting oh, caught again, but look who's over the wall. Rusty looking to help out with this situation. Misses Ooh. the charge, but Blastona doesn't look too healthy yeah. right now. Takes right. the demise. Yeah. He accepted it. And this oh, is the flash we were just talking about. Blastona never having flash up. Poppy going this back doesn't in. help out a lot. This Poppy is scary right now. Whew. Yeah, poor, I honestly think that that level one skirmish screwed over Blastona more than anybody else. Yeah, Blastona not having Flash makes him susceptible to many repeat ganks. Yeah, I mean... It's to the Kale. point where the 1v1 is not working out at all. Kale 3-6 is one of the easiest things to kill in the game. And, like, the Poppy's level 7 now compared to the level 5 of the Kale. That, that's devastating. This Poppy's gonna have free roam of the lane until Blastona starts scaling up. Yeah, this is pretty true, and and as you see from Blastona's build, that's not gonna be for a while. Two Doran's rings yeah. and Berserker's creeps. That's the called the welfare build. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just gotta got oh goodness. Oh HM going in with the ultimate and trapped up. Magic Conch isn't looking too healthy, but neither is Axis Juggle having to flash away in order to survive. Savage Force barely getting away from the tower aggro. Axis survives this one. Yeah, they got one. Uh, that's not bad. Let's see if they're going to try to force down this tower here. The power of the oh. dinner bell. Savage Force getting a little bit too savage with that aggression. Yeah, I would say a little bit. The Vi is doing exactly what a jungler should. When you see the enemy jungler on the other side of the lane, you do what you can to deny resources that you can since you can't be there to assist exactly what he needs to do but he's coming up if juggle knob around him. the corner yeah he needs to oh. kill it fairly quickly well, juggle knob opting awesome. for the wolves yeah had had he walked back straight up to the blue uh, but if i did have a ward there so it would have been pretty safe he's roaming up top a little bit but there is no way they can kill that poppy oh my goodness Rusty, I don't think you want this fight, friend. I'm pretty sure that Poppy can 2v1 at this point. And Juggle Knob getting a lot of damage off onto Rusty. I mean, 1-0-3 oh, doesn't look like a lot, but Poppy is so disgusting right now. In the hands and of a Poppy against a Welfare Kale. Welfare, yeah, Welfare Kale. Welfare oh. Kale. Oh, almost gets taken off. He goes back in. What are you doing, Rusty? Gets picked off. Meanwhile, Nemers gets killed by Axis. HM trying to run away. Should be able to get out of this quite well as the Chain of Corruptions is not up yet. But it's about to be. They choose think, not to go for it. I think what happened was Juggernaut thought that he uh, probably would kill the Vi with the spikes coming out. And so he started to back off because he thought the Vi was dead. But the Vi actually thought that... Um, oh, Chain of Corruption whiffs. Yeah, so the Vi actually thought he probably lived, so he would try to he was trying to ult the Kha'Zix so he was still under tower. Then maybe he would have got a kill. I highly doubt it though. So it's either way, Rusty died unnecessarily. And he's losing his red buff for it. Free red buff picked up for Juggle Knob. I like free <laughs> things. What a game. <laughs> What a meme. Oh, uh, and there it is. That Draconics. Was exactly, yeah, that was exactly what you don't want to do with the package. <laughs> the, the idea of Corky and the package is you want to wall off the enemy jungler so that he has no way in, like no way out other than to fight. And a Corky with exhaust can pretty much 1v1 anybody this early on. So him going in front of the Kha'Zix Basically, just let the Kha'Zix walk out for free instead of trying to cut off the exit so where the Kha'Zix either had to jump over it or walk through it. 
Yep. Unfortunate use of the package, but it's not the biggest deal when it comes to Corky. Uh, I'm kind of worried that we're not going to see our KO into package connection. The Kamikaze Corky. Yeah, I don't think that these teams are coordinated right now. Uh, you know, oh, Conch right now. gets a flay. Will he go for the hook next? Misses oh. it, but Nemers is still very low, but there goes the ultimate coming out of HM to disrupt. Unfortunately for them, the Chain of Corruptions is not up yet, but it just comes up and gets used right off cooldown. HM is falling extremely low, and Magic Conch is looking to try and get something done off of this, but here comes both teleports from the top laners. Storm and Mormon bashes Axis into the wall, gets that kill, and goes down is Magic Conch to Juggle Knob. Okay, so the red team should get this bot turret, then head straight to Dragon. That should be exactly what they should have no problems taking this tower down, unless the Corky can. You mean the fall boosted bonobo bonobos? Oh, yes, the boosted bonobos. Not the red team. Yeah. Red the team is our friends bonobos. Elite Eight. Okay. Which is questionable because they only have five people. <laughs> Maybe they have three coaches. I don't know. I don't know. It so, appears uh. They got this free tower now. Well, I guess they're backing off, but I, Maybe the Bonobos the 5, I would call them. Bonobos 5. But... Here comes Juggle Knob. Uh, looking to get a lot of damage on the Rusty. Rusty is returning the fire. Gets the Assault and Battery, but it's not gonna be enough. Or so I thought. <laughs> oh, he goes down to Axis. Red Smite actually playing a big part there, I think, in that, uh, in that exchange. Yeah, did tick that health quite a bit. And stop some of the damage or the burst from Kha'Zix. So. That was, yeah, a little bit greedy coming out of Jungle Knob. Juggle Knob. Jungle Knob. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh oh, we see a gank here. Ooh. Ooh! Wall, chain, everything you don't want landing. And yet oh, he man. lives! That was unfortunate. Oh boy. That, I don't know. That should have been a free kill, I think. Again, this hmm. is the battle to not be last place. We're in for some shenanigans. Well, we don't we don't know their scores from the last games, but yeah, that's probably based on the quality of game that I'm seeing so far. This looks like a last place game. Look at the standoff right but here. Storm and Mormon and Blastona. There goes Storm and Mormon wall banging Blastona. Blastona is getting ass blasted and trying to get out of there. Taking a lot of damage. We'll have to burn the ult. Does he use it? Yes, he does. But not going to get too much for it. Oh, the flash from Storm and Mormon. He might have actually gotten the outplay. No, he gets killed by the Storm and Mormon. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of good for the kill. To be honest, he, he really needed that money. And that... I guess that's the best outcome that situation could have had for the kill. With that possibly happen. Unless maybe he could have survived somehow. I don't think so. But he's still lacking that first item. He needs to get that Nash to start get rolling. Yeah, he's almost he almost has it completed. I really want to point out the vision game for the red team though. It is far superior to the blue teams right now. No Especially down kidding. here. Especially down here in the red side. I, I think you mean the Elite Eight. What did I say? You said red team. Yeah. The red team has a lot more vision on the map. You need right to now. call them Elite Eight. Can't do that. <laughs> oh, Dr Draconix. Managing to scurry out of there, but... Oh, Assault and Battery lands on the Savage Force. Savage Force taking a lot of damage, but Juggle Knob trying to turn this around. Doesn't look good for Rusty. Juggle Knob picks up that kill, gets to the reset, looking to go on to Draconix, does not have enough damage. Did evolve those wings first. Yeah, the boosted bonobos doing their best to kind of shut down the buy, make sure he can't do anything. Oh! Oh my that, goodness. That was, a dirt, that was a dirty chain from Stabbing Extremely Corky. dirty. I don't think the Corky was expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. Now it looks like they're going to go for the dragon. Finally, I like dragons dying. Yeah, is this the first dragon of the game 16 minutes in? Yeah, it's a cloud drake, so I can understand why the people would kind of throw it aside as a lesser dragon to take, you know? But the next dragon is going to be a mountain dragon, and that's a lot more valuable than the, dra the cloud drake is right now, so. 
Maybe we'll see that taken instantly off the field as soon as it respawns. That is a very squishy looking Vi. No kidding. Still going for more offensive items. Yeah. I, don't, I think if you're behind at this point as, as a Vi, you really need to just kind of build that tank and hopefully you can kind of survive some of the Booster Bonobo's damage that they've got going on here. Oh, here comes Jungle Knob trying to pick off Axis, but the hook lands, but not the Chain of Corruptions. You having to use the exhaust on Jungle Knob in order to get Axis to survive, but Magic Conch is running extremely low. Here comes Draconix looking to pick up the kill on Jungle Knob, but does manage to dash away. And now we're back to the stalemate. Feel just a... It's just... I don't know, the Corky's... Was, it was close, but I don't think the package was delivered quite good enough. Oh, run for your life, Blastona. It doesn't look too good for you. About to get knocked back. Doesn't look good. Kill picked up for Savage Force. Uh, Blastona kind of accepted her defeat again there. <laughs> this Scion's doing wonders! Stopping everyone from escaping. Yeah, honestly, both supports have played pretty well so far. Support the carry threat, is yeah. back in. The threat, but the Thresh has landed a lot of really good hooks and the Scions. Storm and Mormon might look for the wall bang right here. Axis is in a bad spot. Gets annihilated. HM goes in after Draconix. Draconix Ooh. gets knocked up. This doesn't look good for the Elite Eight. Storm and Mormon doing a lot of work with that wall stun. Yeah, HM had a very good. He canceled the uh, Corky's Valkyrie uh, midair and that basically secured another kill. So, yeah, this Scion support. He's doing a lot of work for his team right now. No joke. This is Support City right here. The 006 Scion hasn't even used his passive once this game. Yeah. All I can say is it, it, if you want to play something like Scion Support, go for it. <laughs> if you can play it, do it at this point. Man, what a game so far. Yeah, what an interesting game coming out from both teams right now. Uh, there's a little bit of a CS lead for the Varus in the bot lane. It's not too much, but it's met by a pretty large discrepancy based on the rise into the corky. But we do see a 30... The blue team has 34,000 gold so far. A little bit... At around a 5k gold lead for the Booster Bonobos. Not so boosted after all. Uh, maybe they're the ones doing the boosting. Oh, you got a point the there. The boosting Bonobos. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a like a boost, uh, actual boosting service. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> Might have to copyright that one. Storm and Mormon looking to go aggressive onto Blastona. Blastona's getting a lot of damage now. That Kale with the Nastrous Tooth is starting to pay off. But he, meanwhile, in the mid lane, Savage Force looking to get really forceful onto Draconix. Draconix barely survives, Ooh. flashing away. But the Assault and Battery says you cannot escape this gank. It gets killed by Axis, but now HM Kid is now in a bad spot. But backs off, Magicon chooses not to go after that kill. I'm curious as to if, if Blastone is going to go for the Runon's Hurricane next. It does or, look like it. Yeah, it's either going to be the Runon's or the uh, Rage Blade next. Uh, I generally would go Runon's, but, and I'm pretty sure that's what he's going to go. Yeah, I'm pretty I, sure it's going to be the Runon's. Yeah, I've played a good bit of Kale. Uh, she's takes a while to come online. But uh, once she does, she can eviscerate a team fight. It's left unchecked. But it really depends how these fights go. Because oh, yeah. it, it's pretty easy for the Kale ult to be used on any other teammate, considering how dive-heavy some of these <laughs> champs are. Yep. But Blastona's starting to really get into this game now. The damage is coming out left and right. Don't need Look at that, that aggression, line. but I just jinxed it! Oh, down goes Blastona. Rusty trying to save, but doesn't get too much into that fight. Yeah, he, he messed up giving the poppy to angle on the turret and letting that wall stun just be free, and he dies for it. 3-7-0 for Blastona. It's, that's rough.
Oh, Blasto, and I'm so sorry for the caster curse. That, yeah, that was unfortunate. We have dragon spawning about 40 seconds. Ooh. Hook misses. Savage Force almost got caught out. This next dragon is a mountain drake. A little bit of counter jungling going on here. Trying to starve out of the elite eight as much as possible. And it's not too hard because Rusty hasn't been too on point this game in comparison yeah. to Juggernaut. Yeah, Juggernaut's been everywhere. He he doing what Kha'Zix does best. He, he's that that champion I think just needs to be banned by teams right, right now. It he's just so good at what he does. Yeah, you get the resets. You get the damage. Storm and Mormon might get in a fight with the Magic Conch. Magic Conch lands onto the Storm and Mormon. Doesn't choose to go in, but Blastona getting off a lot of damage. HM going in, looking to get the knockup. Gonna hit three. No, the Flay stops that. And the Chain of Corruption ensures that kill. The first death for HM. And here comes the Assault and Battery on the Storm and Mormon. Storm and Mormon goes down. And now that is a pretty good pickup for the Elite Eight as they're getting back into this game. But Savage Force is looking to force his way into this fight again. But for all, for nothing, as he goes down to the Magic Conch. Oh, man. Are we going to see throw, throw City the game number two? The series number two. <laughs> series number two. <laughs> Juggle Knob going after Axis. This doesn't look too good. Chain of Corruptions is not up. Juggle Knob on the chase. But not getting close enough. The magic conch! The savior! The hook lands! Juggle knob goes down! Biofrost, is that you? Hello? What yes. a hero! Yeah, that was very well played by the magic conch. Yeah, Elite Eight are starting to show signs of life again. They've shrunk the gold, gold lead down considerably and looking a lot better for them all of a sudden. Yeah, 2K separates these teams. As down as he is, Blastona has actually been doing a lot in these team fights. He he did all very early in the last fight that they were in, but uh, if you just watch him in the fights, he's been auto attacking quite a lot and doing a lot of damage for his team. It actually looks like he's going the Rage Blade next. <laughs> Goodness gracious, this game. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I have the energy to have another back and forth battle. <laughs> Especially if this one goes to 50 something minutes that we had last time. Storm and Mormon going after Axis. Hook Ooh. misses just barely. Even though that one missed, I have to give it to Magic Conch, though. He's played very well so far. Here comes Savage Force. Doesn't really get much out but the Chain of Corruptions. But this is a free turret for the boosted bonobos. Meanwhile, Blastona bot, bot lane forcing the teleport out of the poppy. Good play overall. Yep. Anytime you can get a teleport advantage, it's you want to do it. Especially if you get Blastona. it for free. That was yeah, just yeah. in and out. He has to be careful here, though. Oh, here comes HM. Doesn't get the stun. I mean, slow. Blastona's actually cornered now. Yeah, when I said for free, I way. really just cursed him a second time. <laughs> Blastona, poor guy. There's no way he's going to escape this. Now, There's no way he's going to escape this. There's no way he's going to escape this. Just die already, Blastona. Make my job easier. Savage Force gets that kill. But a proper response coming out from the Elite Eight. Yeah, he he really should have went back. But he should have just walked past the Scion, to be honest. So he had no idea knowing that any, if anybody was there with the side. Oh, the ultimate on the Nemers. Nemers taking a lot of damage, but Rusty once again failing to be effective. Drops down to Nemers. Yeah, that Rusty's having an off game. He, he's looking kind of shaky. He he needs to calm down with the engages, I think. Well, it was good in theory, but Draconox, not really, I'm not really too fond of his build overall. Yeah, most Corkies I've seen in the mid lane go the Triforce in the Gunblade or Gunblade in the Triforce. I'm not too sure what he's building right now. Yeah, yeah. I feel like he would have had the burst to actually get that kill if he had the Gunblade. Because right now, I guess he's going for the IE. Maybe. Savage Force gets a Chain of Corruptions to save. Not Savage Force. But, oh, Axis trying to turn this around. Savage Force a little bit deep. 
a little bit is an understatement. Hook goes out, but the flash is burnt. Blastona is on the hunt for this one, getting as much down as he can. Barely survives the Savage Horse. The Y at sign there. <laughs> that um that was unfortunate. They should have tried to CC him there. Maybe stop the stop the realm warp. Yep, realm warp. And unfortunately, Savage Force gets out. But it was at a pretty big cost. He did yeah. burn both summoner spells and the ultimate. Axis, you are all alone, my friend. Goodness gracious. Gets melted so quickly from Juggernaut. I love it when you see panic in players and they fire skill shots in random directions. <laughs> <laughs> Kale, once again, Blastona doing his best to try to get something for his team. Uh, Blastona just being a nuisance in that bottom lane. The stun onto Magic Conch. Magic Conch taking so much damage. Goodbye. Juggernaut picks up that kill. Meanwhile, Blastona looking to get in a fight with Savage Force, having to run away. Savage Force getting the better of this one. No summoner spells on Savage Force, so this should be safety for Blastona, yeah. but the Baron is being started by the boosted Bonobos. Yeah, the lead eight just look really unorganized right now. They don't even, don't, do they even know this is going on? Yeah, they do. Choosing not Vi to contest. Yeah, why didn't the Vi even attempt to go for it? I think as far behind as they are, it oh, Blastona. Getting caught out by Savage Force. Goodbye. Are we seeing another instance of uh, tree, tree Garden? Or whatever, or no. Uh, what's the guy from the last game that dies a lot? Naughty Leaf. Naughty Leaf, yeah. Yeah, we're seeing another case of this except not getting the one, one for one. Will Rusty go for this? Gets <laughs> blocked by the Steadfast Presence. Yeah, this Vi is being completely nullified by the Poppy at this point. Rusty and this shows, just doesn't have a way in. This Ooh. shows why the Poppy is such a great pick. Yeah, I remember back when we used to play, you refused to play like Alistair or anything with Engage if the Poppy was still up. <laughs> and so far, game's still in favor of the boosted Bonobos. Yeah, Elite Eight trying to get into this, but Blastone has been very sketch with the way he's been handling his engages. And yet he's somehow still ahead in farm. Come on, it's hard to outfarm a Kale. You see that, that Runin's Hurricane is definitely coming up next now. Oh yeah. That's actually kind of the breaking point for Kale once she gets those three items in combination. Then she just becomes an absolute monster if left unchecked. So they're going to look to fight once she does have those three items maybe and get something out of it. Well, right now, there's already a lot of damage, but when you amplify that splash with more splash, it makes a huge difference. Oh, yeah. I have won many a game off the back of that particular three-item spike. That was just, just kind of dangerous. I wouldn't have queued over that wall. Rusty? Just, yeah. Just, the Vault Breaker? Yeah, just to get a ward. Here comes the dinner bell! But it doesn't look like dinner's there yet. Ooh. Yes, it is. Lands onto Axis. Axis has to flash away, but Magic Conch is caught now. Rusty gets into the fight. Burning flashes left and right. Chain of Corruptions disengages that. Oh, boy. I feel like we're in for another long one if it keeps on like this. <laughs> oh, no kidding. In the driver's seat, Boosted Bonobos not managing to get much in terms of kills. But did burn was, a lot of summoner spells. Yeah, that was a very good ult by HT, or HMT. HM. That, yeah, he locked up both the support and the AD carry of the Elite Eight, and they just. It was, it's either flash or die. Yeah, Axis barely managing to get out of that. If that knockup did hit him, that could have been disaster. A siege onto this tower. This might be a fight. Magic Conch getting knocked up. Into the wall goes Rusty. The ultimate having to be burnt on him. Unfortunate. Rusty, bad positioning. Ooh. Yeah, I actually think that this won't last quite as long as some of the other games we've had tonight. It looks like. No. What is going on with Savage? He gets the kill on the Rusty! It looks like. Uh, Dag on it. It looks like the boosted bonobos. <laughs> it looks like the boosted bonobos at least have a semblance of an idea of how to close out the game. Yeah. 
they know to use the Baron buff to take down the towers, which is something in our previous game we didn't see a whole lot of. Actually, Look at this bot lane. This turret's about yeah, to go the down. Elite, yeah, the Elite Eight's minions are doing work for them right now. The sixth man. Boom. Still, oh. that's, that's not enough to make up for the 8k gold lead that's going on right now. Yeah, no kidding. The coordination between the Boost and Bonobos is actually quite impressive. Yeah, it's... And the lack thereof for the Elite Eight's been pretty much their downfall this game so far. Well, I want to say the coordination for at least four members. Savage Force has just been all over the place attacking at his own will. <laughs> yeah. If, if he can go in, he'll, he'll go, it seems. Yeah, we saw he went dived to get Rusty. Someone who's building part tank got the kill flashed over the wall. Savage uh, Force is... <laughs> his name couldn't be more true. He is the Naughty Leaf of mid lane. Savage <laughs> Force, Wolfie, Naughty Leaf, get all on the same team. <laughs> Maybe they'll have to do that once we have the pre-made league next season, I believe they're talking about implementing. So I'd like to point out the Corky Dago for the IE second. I really don't like that. But Yeah, that like doesn't synergize with his Trinity Force at all. It looks like third item he's going to go for the Void Staff, I believe. I don't know, it just seems like an odd path. Yeah, him. he's not really maximizing the efficiency of that champion. I've seen it done a few times, and it worked, but... In I, this current I meta, with the changes to Trinity Force, it's questionable. Yeah. Questionable for sure. Hmm. But only time will tell if it works. So far, no zero kills, zero burst potential, really. He has to get lucky with a crit and an uh, empowered auto. And if he's going the Void Staff, that really nullifies the power of the Infinity Edge. Storm and Mormon, nice escape coming out from him. Oh, was that stolen? Ooh, Savage Force getting picked up by the hook. But returning the pain after that hook landed. There goes the Chain of Corruptions, a lot of damage on the Nurmers, but HM manages to block the other half of that. Rusty going on to Nurmers, gets knocked away, but Storm and Mormon goes down! The ultimate comes out from HM! And now, here comes Juggleknob trying to get the kill onto Draconix, does manage to get just that. Rusty falls next, and now, in favor, is the fight for the boosted Bonobos. Oh my god, Savage Force! You monster! You animal! Leave him alone! He has a family! Savage Force chasing down the Magic Conch, having to burn the flash of Axis. Now Savage Force sets his sight onto Axis. Oh my god, Savage Force. He is an independent rise and he don't need no man. He don't need no team. Yeah, I believe Blastona actually ulted the Thresh there. Yeah, he probably should have just saved it for himself at that point. But this should be, it looks like the uh, Boosted Bonobos are going to walk towards this Baron maybe, or set up maybe later once they come back, reset, because the Elder Dragon's actually in play now as well. So we'll have to see how teams play around that. With this mid in him open, it opens up the map a lot more. The actual top lane is also very low for the Elite Eight, so we'll have to see what the game plan does. If... The boost of Bonobos get this Baron, they should just go straight for top lane, not that turret down. Get the other in here, then rinse and repeat for the bot side. I don't know, this game's been intense so far. Elite Eight are doing their best to stall this out, and they've been doing a decent job, but coordination from the boost of Bonobos is something else. Yeah, they definitely look more in sync than the other than uh, Elite Eight do. Focusing on the Blastona might not be the best choice. Corky does have package. I believe it's about to time out. Yep. There it goes. Don't you hate it when your package just disappears on you? <laughs> <laughs> Is it going to be Baron dance time soon? Hook yep. goes out, lands onto the Baron. Trying to get some damage onto Storm and Mormon. This 
The Storm and Mormon. Didn't uh, didn't Bjerg? Yeah, didn't Bjerg solo the Elder Dragon by himself in one game? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure he did, and or it was someone so solo Barrett solo the Elder Dragon <laughs> as Rise in this exact way. Is he gonna do it? Juggle <laughs> barely getting out of that from Rusty's Vault Breaker. He's gonna get this dragon by himself. Is he really going for it? He, oh my goodness, Savage what Force. What a man, what a man. And now here it comes, HM going on to Draconix. Draconix has the intervention on him, but Blastona used it on the wrong person. Draconix drops next. Unstoppable is Nemers. Rusty goes in with the Assault and Battery, but goes down for it. Magic Khan's trying to run away. Savage Force destroying Axis, and this is the game. Boosted Bonobos are easily just going to walk through this base and take game one in the series of two. Yeah, the Lee A actually had a ward on the Elder Drake. Elder Drake, I don't exactly know why they didn't respond to that or just didn't see it happening or whatever, but well played by the boost of another. And the too. surrender vote usually yeah. usually means there's a little bit of tilt there. Yeah, especially I've I i do not think I've ever seen a surrender in Ascension. That's the first time I've seen this. But Savage Force, that was creative. Apparently we're not bright. I'm sorry, Axis, you had a bad game, but you know. It, it happens, what it buddy. Is. We we won't hold it against you though. But that was an interesting game. Very interesting. Almost went back to the favor of Elite Eight, but ultimately you can't really stop HM. Whenever he engaged, yeah. it caused so much pressure for the Elite Eight. We actually had uh HM in we actually have HM in chat now. <laughs> well played by your sign support. Good job, buddy. <laughs> that was fun to watch. Yeah, both HM and Savage Four are some of the most aggressive players I've seen in a while, along with the Storm and Mormon. And overall, good game played by the boosted Bonobos. But can they make it happen again in game two? Yeah, what a that was an interesting game, I have to say. Well played by the boosted bonobos, the boosted monkeys, <laughs> savage force definitely. I, I gotta give him MVP for that. That that dragon was pretty pretty fun to watch. <laughs> Solo to Elder Drake, yeah. And uh, Storm and Mormon, you you definitely were not an afterthought the entire game. They you held the, especially early on that first little tussle. You had, that it's, it all started honestly with that level one fight. It. It, it blew Blastona's summoners. Then Jungle Jungle Knob came straight up, got the I believe it was like two or three kills, and that basically started the downward spiral for spiral for Elite Eight. But yeah, the whole team played rather well. We we were we were thoroughly impressed by the coordination that the uh, boosted Bonobos. I can't I can't get a name, but yeah, very well played by both of them. I guess. I don't know. The the Elite Eight kind of need to take out of this that there's a problem. So you need to take that problem, whatever it may be, fix it. And Come on, Brandon. That's a little bit too vague. When it comes down yeah. to it, it felt like it was a lot of communication issues. That is when, we, when we watched the um, Boosted Bonobos that was a completely different story in terms of communication. HM went in and everyone followed through with it. Very much true. The dinner bell rang and yeah, that 5v5 at the beginning was, that was crazy. But I have to say, uh, I was fairly impressed with the bot lane of uh, Elite Eight. They actually did held their own. For the most part, the Thresh especially. Both supports actually played very well, in my opinion. Some very nice hooks coming out of the Magic Conch. Unfortunately, it was just not enough to carry the team. 
Uh, we'll see and how believe, this next game though goes yeah, though. Yeah, I believe we'll take a little break till this next game starts, and we shall get back to you as soon as possible. <laughs> 